Hello friend, thanks for joining me for another book chat. Today let's spend a few minutes with Becoming Duchess Goldblatt, a memoir by an anonymous author. This book was originally published back in 2020, and I really decided to pick this up. It was basically an impulse buy. I just came across this book. I had not heard anything about it, nor did I was I aware of the Duchess Goldblatt persona from the online uh, social media world. Uh, but the book sounded really intriguing to me because it was the memoir of this, uh, this fictional person. Um, it ultimately is, this book surprised me. This memoir surprised me a bit because I wasn't really expecting to enjoy it as much as I actually did. It's actually a, both a memoir of the fictional character Duchess Goldblatt as well as um, aspects of the anonymous author, such as the forces that drove the author to create this online persona. So who was the author? As I mentioned, the author is anonymous. Uh, the back of the book here says, Anonymous, the real-life person in whose mind Duchess Goldblatt lives and flourishes, has gathered all available truth and beauty for these pages. There's nothing else to give. There's a quote at the very beginning of the book that also sort of describes the sort of life circumstances that the author found herself in when she was then um, led to just sort of out of the blue to create this online persona of Duchess Goldblatt. Um, but the quote says this, um, when, the, uh, when the house burns down, so to speak, there's no guarantee that anybody will stick around to help sweep up. This is not the dominant narrative that I had been that I'd been raised to believe in. Sure, Lu Lucy and Ricky could have could end up divorced, but you figure Lucy would always have Ethel Mertz. In my moment of sudden destruction, I learned the very hard way that reinforcements would not be coming. When I lost everything, my Ricky, my Fred and Ethel, the nightclub and the band, and even the gig on the chocolate factory assembly line, I found out that the sheltering trees above me were gone and I was on my own. So the author went through this dramatic life shift, le leaving her feeling lost and overwhelmed and really feeling unloved as well, I think, because she lost her husband as well as her job and uh, the people that she thought were her friends. Uh, abandoned her apparently so she was feeling rather lost and through a series of events she was led then to create this online persona of Duchess Goldblatt uh, which is the process that process is then described in the book so who is Duchess Goldblatt again the um, the back cover here has a description of Duchess Goldblatt uh, Duchess Goldblatt 81 is the inspirational author of an axe to grind <laughs> Feasting on the Carcasses of My Enemies, A Love Story, and the heartwarming, heartwarming Meditation on Mothers and Daughters, Not If I Kill You First, <laughs> a cultural icon, trophy ex-wife, friend to all humanity, and sponsor of the prestigious Goldblatt Prize in Fiction, she lives in Crooked Path, New York, she's fictional, but her love is real. I just love that that description of her, and it really describes her um, very well. So about this cover art, this is the Duchess herself. She is actually this painting. Uh, the author took uh, this painting for that is in the National Gallery of Art. The painting is called Portrait of an Elderly Lady. It's from 1633 by the Dutch artist Franz Hals. And uh, I think it's just perfect for her. There's a quote here from the book that really describes Duchess as well that I think is, is pretty cool. It says, Duchess is a friend to all humanity, which is all well and good as far as it goes. But I don't mind telling you privately here that it can be a real drag for me, the author says. She loves the world. I try to love the world. I mean, in theory, I want to love the world and all humanity. I can certainly how it see how it would be a good idea. <laughs> um, you know, so this interplay between the Duchess persona as well as the author. The Duchess is very self-confident, and the author, though, at this time, to contrast that, was really struggling with her life and really struggling with, um, you know, with, with, with coming to terms with what all had happened to her. So this is all explained really well in the book. 
So the author, you know, used to ask her father, and I thought this was real cool, about love, you know, loving all of humanity. She asked her father, um, how do you love, because she, she apparently had one of these fathers that was just, just a, a really kind person. Um, and she says, how do you love everybody? Surely you can't love everybody. Surely some people don't deserve it. I used to ask my father about this all the time. I'm not sure what you mean by deserve, he'd say. You love people because they're people, because they're human beings, not necessarily because you enjoy their company, which is one kind of love, but because you recognize they're inherently worthy. Every person is inherently worthy. And I think that's what D Duchess Goldblatt actually tried to put out there in the world, in the social media world, which definitely needs this kind of love, right? And, uh, you know, got a really good response. Um, you know, the author shared a lot about her personal family. Again, she's still anonymous. We do not know who she is. But um, I gathered she had a a mentally ill brother that was in and out of mental institutions um, and was quite trying for her parents, for her father especially. And um, the author explains this uh, different different things that happened with that. I think her brother eventually did commit suicide. So sort of tragic family life or very troubled family life in that regard. But she did have this love with her father, which I thought was really quite beautiful. So, you know, about the DGU, the Duchess Goldblatt Universe, universe. Um, the Duchess Goldblatt Universe got created out of, by this author, really, but, you know, uh, ultimately it was fed by the followers that ended up following Duchess Goldblatt on social media, and, um, you know, that's kind of, that sort of collaboration between the author, between this fictional character and this audience, I thought was really cool. One illustration of this was the Duchess Goldblatt warehouse sale. Duchess Goldblatt went, uh, decided to have a warehouse sale, and, these, and her followers, the followers on social media, ended up posting all these articles that they, they found at the warehouse sale, and um, Duchess says, all proceeds... From the Duchess Goldblatt Warehouse sale, support the Crooked Paths Cat Sanctuary and the home for aged and unpleasant ex-husbands. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. So, yeah, Duchess was not currently married. She has one daughter, Hacienda, um, who is in prison in Mexico for crimes against humanity. <laughs> Duchess doesn't give a lot of details, but um, she does say at one point, um, Hacienda and I are considering starting a mother-daughter advice column. The usual stuff, beauty tips, criminal defense strategies, poison. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's funny. Um, but the author explains here sort of this contract, you know, it's really... Uh, this fictional character that was in social media is not that much different than any fictional character that we read in fiction, right? And we get really, us readers, we get really attached sometimes to our fictional characters, and they feel kind of real to us, right? Like they exist somewhere at some in some way. Um, and there's a quote here that sort of illustrates that that I thought was cool. And the quote is, There must be a contract between us, storyteller and listener. I will do the work of telling the tale as long as you do the work of believing in it. We must all agree to believe that Mr. Darcy is rich or Pride and Prejudice falls apart. We have to agree that Owen Meany is tiny, that Jane Marple is knitting in a small village, that hobbits live in shires, and that Duchess Goldblatt is a gorgeous elderly woman in love with the world and everyone in it. And these sort of things, you know, they can really, you know, really enrich our lives, right? Fictional characters enrich our lives. They enrich our understanding of the world. So Duchess Goldblatt is not really that much different. The only difference here was that this fictional character was interacting with people directly online. So that would be like Mr. Darcy on Twitter, <laughs> which might be a really interesting thing to see. Um... So Duchess Goldblatt, you know, she uh, it starts off very slow. The author wasn't even sure that anybody would be really be interested in this, but it kind of took off. Eventually, she um, met some of the people. She became friends with, with, with some of her followers, online friends, uh, still maintaining this anon anonymity, though. But ultimately, to her surprise, she was a big Lyle Lovett fan. And so I think that Duchess Goldblatt, I ended up being a Lyle Lovett fan as well, and eventually Lyle Lovett actually 
becomes one of her followers and they strike up a conversation, he eventually invites her to one of his concerts and she goes. So she develops an actual uh, face-to-face friendship with Lyle Lovett. All of this explained very well in the book. And, um, you know, it's really... Uh, it's really, it's really cool uh, the way that it happened, um, and her pers- her persona when she met a few of these people, very few, P- like Lyle Lovett, as opposed to her, what her real personality was, which was not the same as um, as Duchess Goldblatt. Finally, um, before I run out of time, I thought I would just share a few other pearls of wisdom from Duchess Goldblatt here. Um, the first one I was going to share is hopes and dreams need air. Cracking a window in the car an inch and leaving them behind while you run errands will not work. They could die. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Um, then there's another one. If you have the education, wits, and leisure time to pursue your own interests, you have it better than 99% of the people who ever lived. You know, isn't that true? You know, we take, we, I think we take that for granted that we live in this world of abundance, um, but we really have it, we're really lucky, right? And so we should just celebrate that more than we do, I think. Um, then there was this, this uh, interchange she had with Lyle Lovett, Duchess Goldblatt had with Lyle Lovett, um, and she's talking about hurting people's feelings and she said about joking in a joke joking format she says if i make a joke at another person's expense even a gentle joke even if the person is beyond the reach of my voice and will never know it or be hurt by it it diminishes my listener to hear it it diminishes me to tell it the better joke is always going to be the one that doesn't hurt anybody this is the habit of mind I work at. She works at this. She's not, you know, this is not something that you can just do. You would have to work at this because the temptation, if you see a joke there, even if you're joking about a celebrity that's never good, that doesn't know you, that's never going to hear your joke, um, it dem- diminishes both you and the person you're telling it to in the opinion of the Duchess. And I tend to agree with her on that. Finally, I'll close with this last quote that I think is so cool. Don't let anyone shame you for your love of an imaginary friend. Religions have been founded on less, says the Duchess. And that is very true. We love our fictional characters. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, it is it can be a very enriching experience, both fictional characters like Duchess Goldblatt, as well as fictional characters in books, movies, whatever, um, you know, it, it, it can be a wonderful thing. So I will close the chat with that thought. Um, I did enjoy this memoir way more than I expected. So glad I picked that up uh, on kind of an impulse um, and got that read. All right, my next chat is going to be some science fiction. Uh, the last of a, 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 the Terra Ignata series by Ada Palmer, Perhaps the Stars. I have finished this already, and I'll have a chat on it coming up soon. So until next time, take care.